Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out with you, boy oh boy. Are we gonna have big fun today? Playing some more Oh god, I almost said Final Fantasy Tactics. Playing some more FTB. So, uh, a moment ago I got an unwelcome visit from a creeper. He built blew a big hole in the ground. I've already filled it in. He actually destroyed my door because he's a jerk. Uh yeah, so that happened. I have some big plans for today. I broke my shovel digging up this dirt, by the way, that I'm using right here. And I had to use this dirt to fill in that uh, creeper hole. So what am I going to do today? Well, the first thing I want to do is head over this way. Um, I saw some sheep over here. And I would like to go pay them a visit with my sword! Where you at, sheep? I know you're over here. I know you're over here. I heard you there. I, you hear him? You guys hear him? You hear that? There he is. So, um, the sheep give wool when you kill them. There's that wool. That square right there, that's wool. Need it. I need at least two more pieces of wool. So, sometimes you'll get two pieces from a single sheep. I hope that that happens here. Because I don't want to have to kill too many. Dude, I, I, I saw a, a black sheep. Where are you? Up there on this mountain, maybe, where I was just at? You think? Uh, why am I collecting wool? Because I need to make a bed. Uh, beds are important. When you die... Ooh, berries. There's a berry bush here. I'm going to collect this berry bush. When you die, you reappear at your bed. Uh, when you respawn, you'll respawn at your bed. So you want your bed to... Ooh, there you are. Ah! Poisoned. I must have touched some poison ivy. And there's... Oh, another one. Where's this poison ivy hat? Okay. There's freaking poison ivy everywhere. Luckily, poison can't kill you. It can only leave you at a half of a heart. There's a, a similar status effect called wither. Why am I still poisoned? Oh. Maybe it wasn't. Oh no! All right, I'll go get. I'll go. I guess I didn't get out of there in time. I guess it was a witch that killed me. I thought it was a, um. I thought I was stepping in poison ivy, but uh, there's an enemy called witch, and I guess that the witch must have got me. So you can see my death marker off in the distance there. It's not too far away, but it is a little bit of a hike. When you die, you lose all your stuff. I don't have any of my stuff right now. Um. It should all be in my grave, so I'm going to try to make my... Look at how cool the underwater scenery... Oh, you can't see it from above underwater, but you can you can see it there when I'm above water. <gasps> oil! You guys see that oil spout out in the ocean over there? That's cool. That's good stuff. We'll definitely, at some point, we will go over there and make use of that oil. What is this, like, algae that we're dealing with here? Duckweed. I don't know what this stuff is. So that oil is going to be handy. Where's my death marker? That way. Man, I can't believe... Uh, I, if there's a witch there, it's going to be really hard to get my stuff back. That witch is just going to kill me again. I hate witches. They're like my least favorite enemy. What would I ever do to them? Uh, anyways, like I was saying, I needed to make a bed in case I die. <laughs> uh... When you when you die, you reappear at the last bed you slept in. So I want to... Is this sand? I want to put a bed in my house and then sleep in it just so that I'll reappear there in case I die again. I seriously hope that witch doesn't show up. There's my grave. Okay. Get all my stuff and get the heck out of here before that witch shows up and gives me more grief. I'll come out here once I'm more well armored, and I'll try to kill it so it doesn't give me any more trouble. Um, boy, we're like four minutes into this video. I haven't even said what we're going to do. I said I'm going to make a bed. I'm going to go do that right now. You can only sleep at night, so I won't be able to use the bed. And I started to dig a mine down there, but I haven't really done much with it yet. So, oh boy, I don't have any wood. I can't. I'm going to go chop down some trees. As you can see, tree chopping is a much faster prospect when you have the right tool. Last time I was using uh, my like hands to, to break down trees. Much faster deal if you come in here with an axe, obviously. 
Oh, and believe you me, there is a way to do it even faster than this. And we'll get there. But for now, this axe is going to do the trick just fine. Okay, so I got some wood. Enough. I got 38 pieces of oak wood. Uh, it'll be enough to make myself a bed. Let's do that now. So here's how you make a bed. It's real simple. Well, I need my wool. Okay, so you put oak planks like so, and then you put wool across the top, and wouldn't you know it, we got ourselves a bed. Let's go ahead and put our bed somewhere. I don't know. Let's put it in this corner, I guess. Why not? All right, so I also need to make another door to replace the one that that jerk broke. Let's do that now. Boom, door. On the inside of the door, however, I want to put something else. If I put two planks next to each other, I get a pressure plate. What does a pressure plate do? Well, if I put it in front of this door right here, when I walk up to the door, the door automatically opens. I don't have to click on it. It'll just do its thing by itself, which I think is cool. All right, so we got that going. I can probably stand to put away some of this material here. I don't need all this stuff. Ooh, flowering oak sapling. I want that, that, and that. I'm going to go plant this junk outside real quick. There's cl I found clay in the water over here. Clay always, um, all, it'll always you, when you find it, it's usually underwater. You can kind of see these different colored blocks down here. These are blocks of clay. I'll need that eventually. For right now, I don't need it for much. Is there more clay down here? No, that's sand. Oh, there's some clay. So there's one flowering oak sapling. Plant another one right there. And we got a bunch of regular oak saplings from all those trees I just chopped down. I'm probably not going to plant all these right now. Uh, but I am going to plant this blackberry bush that I picked up. And it's getting dark. It might be time to go sleep in our new bed. Uh, yeah. I'm going to clean up these stupid planks I put here for no reason. Hey, there. Got it. And let's put this blackberry bush right there, and that'll grow eventually and yield some delicious, tasty blackberries for us. Uh, put all this stuff away. I'll keep my torches. I'll keep my stairs. I'll actually bring the other stairs. Uh, bring my. I need a shovel. So let's get some cobblestone, and let's make a shovel. Boom. And as you know, the recipe for shovel, boom, boom, with a stone on top, and we got us a stone shovel. Uh, I'm going to actually make another pick, too, because these picks don't ever last very long. So, let's get to it. Let's start digging away. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig downward in a staircase fashion. Uh, just like in this general direction, I'm going to dig in like a straight line as like a staircase right now. I'll be back once I've made some progress digging down this way. So you've seen this stuff up at the base, this copper ore. I'm just now mining it for the first time, but, you know, you have seen it before. So what is copper ore all about? Well, if you melt it down in a furnace, you get copper ingots. Uh, we'll do that later. On my way down digging, I found this deposit of gravel. There's a ton of gravel right here. Um, and gravel can be useful stuff. There is a lot of times when I'll need gravel, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and collect all this gravel and wouldn't you know it right there behind that gravel I was collecting we throw a torch so you can see it real well we have this stuff what is this stuff this is iron ore uh, iron ore is tremendously useful I'm very glad that I found some uh, I'm gonna need a whole heck of a lot of it throughout the game uh, but there's nothing wrong with finding it real fairly early like this I also found this peridot ore but I don't think I can mine it with a stone pick. I think I will need to make a better pickaxe, maybe an iron pickaxe, if I want to mine that peridot. So this green stuff here. So that's what I plan to do. I'll use the iron that I have to make myself a better pickaxe, and then I'll come back sometime and collect that. You'll notice that as I mine the gravel, in addition to getting the gravel cube, I am sometimes getting this stuff, these little things called flint. Uh, flint is also pretty useful for a host of things. I will definitely make good use of it as we move forward. So I made all these stairs a while ago, a bunch of stairs. Uh, in case I didn't show you the recipe for the stairs, 
It's like that. You put cobblestone in the shape of a staircase, and you get some stairs. Four stairs for every, what is that, six cobble that you, you know, make into a staircase shape. Um, so the reason I made all these stairs is because I knew that I would be digging a mine, and I knew that I wasn't going to want to have to jump my way up. If I don't put these stairs here, I'd have to jump at every single one of these, and... Okay, where is that guy coming from? Is he behind me? No? You guys hear the zombie? There's a zombie somewhere. There. Did I ever put that door? Yeah, I put the door back up. Okay, let's put away my stairs and stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and cook up this iron in the furnace right now. You can use... I, I found this coal earlier, and you can use that as fuel to cook things, but... I have these wooden tools that I don't really need, so I'm going to use them as fuel because they are made of wood after all. So I'm just going to go ahead and cook up all of this iron right now uh, and put some coal in there to replace the wooden tools that burned up. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you back here once that's done. All right, so I got all the iron cooked up, and now I am going to make myself an iron pickaxe. So I now have the means. I'm going to make another shovel to replace my... Oh, well, my, my stone shovel's about to break. So I now have the means to mine that Peridot stuff. That and a whole lot of other things. And I actually found something else pretty darn cool while I was down here in my mine last time, just a moment ago, and I didn't get around to showing it to you. So as I was digging, I wound up in here. Woo! Oh, boy. Look at them skeleton or zombies coming my way. Let's see. Hey, zombies. I see a skeleton back there in the distance. This green stuff right in front of me, this is pretty darn cool stuff. I'll definitely get that in a moment. But uh, I kind of feel like I need to deal with this these zombies first here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug up this water flow that's flowing out of the, the side of the cave here. There's some tin on the wall. I'm definitely going to get that too. But first things first, zombies. Got him. Get out of here, zombie. So, we found an underground cave. There's a skeleton down there. He'd like nothing more than to shoot me. What are you? Yellowite ore? Okay. It looks like gold, that yellowite stuff does. It's kind of disappointing that it's not. This thing is cool. I'm going to take that with me. That's an essence berry bush. I will get into more about what that does later. For now, all you need to know is they're super cool. Um, I'm going to grab this tin real quick. And some gravel fell where the tin just was. There's more tin right here. See, this is the lot, the essence of what this game is about when they call it Minecraft, because you really do a fair bit of mining. Well, at least I do. I don't know. I suppose realistically the game could be whatever you wanted it to be. If you didn't feel like ever doing mining, you could have yourself a nice full Minecraft adventure without ever even making a pickaxe. Now, that's not something I would ever choose to do, but there are plenty of people who do. Tin or berry bush. I want these two. These let you grow metals in your, uh, you can plant them and they will actually grow little pieces of metal. So I can grow tin now with those orberry bushes. Look at this cool looking cave we found. There's lava over here. Uh, more tin. Look, light this up a little bit. You can see there's more tin on the wall here. Bunch of flowing water. More lava over there. I don't want to mess with that though because... I don't want to get tangled up in that nonsense. Come on! There. It's dark in here. Sorry that it's so dark. It's dark for me. I can only imagine what it must look like on YouTube. Because for some reason, YouTube always makes my videos, like, a little bit darker than they already were. Okay. So I saw something I really liked. <gasps> Peridot! You remember how I made this iron pick specifically for the purpose of mining Peridot? Well, here's some Peridot. Peridot is pretty useful. It's a gem that you can use to make um, equipment, like I can make swords out of it, and I will. Or you can make pickaxes and stuff. Pretty good stuff. There's a bunch of coal right here. Coal is always in high demand. You always want to collect the, the, all the coal that you can get your grabby little hands on. This is the only episode where I'm going to show this much mining on camera. Mining on camera is usually a big no-no in the Let's Play world. Why am I using my iron pick for this? So, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me dig through uh, caves and stuff like that. I mean, exploring caves, sure, but like actually mining, generally you don't show that on camera. Okay, so let's block off the water there. And, come on water, go away. Why are you still here? Go away. 
There. I, I, I can hear zombies and stuff like... They don't seem like they're all that far away. Why is there so much issue with the water? Is it... Is that a... That's just a water... The algae is a water source now? That's weird. That's funny. That is a water source! Are you seeing this? Water keeps appearing where the stupid algae is. So, Certus Quartz. This is what I was excited about. This stuff here is cool. Let's break it. See what we get. Oh, we're getting a lot out of here. There's a lot in here. Certus Quartz. What do we got? Ten pieces of Certus Quartz Crystal. I will use that stuff a lot. It is awesome. More iron. Iron, as I told you, always in high demand. I hear something. I hear somebody doing something. Someone just... Oh, it's a skeleton! Oh, it's a skeleton! He's shooting me with his bow! Ah! I need apples. I need apples! Oh, I need my sword! Ah, he's in the lava. Haha, <laughs> he burned to death. Stupid skeleton. Shouldn't have messed with me. I was going to let him burn to death. Silver ore. Another new ore, you guys. We found some silver. Silver, honestly, eh, not very useful. Oh, there's lead here, too. I didn't miss that. So we found some silver ore, and we found a little bit of lead. Lead's pretty darn useful. We'll make use of that. Silver, there's a couple of times when you need it, but really it's not... Silver's not in, like, terribly high demand, but I'll make use of, you know, I'll make use of it a few times every now and then. Um, I want to wrap up the episode here, but I also want to, like, go up here first. Careful not to step in the lava. It's very dark back here. Light it up. Okay, so this is a nice dead end. Um... I sort of want to go back there and see what's like on the other side of this lava. So I'm going to block off that lava with a piece of cobblestone. And as it goes away, I'm going to be able to cross. And... Okay, it's taking its time there, but there it is. What's over here? More lava? I could tell because it was all bright. Gold! You guys see it? You guys see the gold down there? That's gold. There's gold in them thar hills. And there's iron right there. Man, this cave was a good find. Good call, Kyrie. You're so good at this game. Oh my god, more surges quartz. I'm gonna get this Certus Quartz. You know, it's weird to play this game without other people. I'm very much more accustomed to playing this game with, like, Poozerfruit and Caps and Loots and a few other people. Um, there's a skeleton down there. There's Cobblestone. Why is there Cobblestone? Cobblestone means one of two things. Either there's something... Okay. I gotta go over here real quick. Leave me alone! Stupid, dumb, skeleton! Arr! Arr! Die! Okay, I think that, that is from lava. The reason I was so anxious to come down here, I actually gotta wrap up the episode, but I saw this gold ore berry. This stuff is awesome. It lets you grow gold. I'll actually be able to... Ooh, there's some green earth-infused stone, too. I'll mess with that stuff later. That's a little ways off before I'm too worried about that. So with this gold ore berry, I'm actually able to, like, plant these and grow gold. I now have some tin ore berries also. So I could grow tin. be nice if I had some iron ones, and I could grow iron. And then I'd be just all set. So there, there we go. First cave explored a little bit. There's a lot more to that cave than what we found there. And we will explore more of it. Probably not next time, but eventually we will. So... The last thing I want to show you before we call it a day, I'm going to need some of this, I'm going to need my cobblestone, I'm going to need my coal. So you may notice that when you break this stone, you get that stuff. You get cobblestone, and when you place it, it doesn't look the same. It looks different. It changes from this smooth stone, it changes it into cobblestone. How can we change it back into smooth stone? Why, we put it in a furnace, of course. And after a little while, we get ourselves some smooth stone. So, 
what we're going to make real quick before we end it, we're going to make this grindstone here. So to make the recipe looks very complicated, I assure you it's pretty darn simple. All we need is a wooden gear, and then we need some smooth stone, some quartz, and some cobblestone. Well, we have all that. So we just made the smooth stone. Oh, actually, we got to make the wooden gear first. To make that, we put four sticks, like so, and there's our wooden gear. Put that up here, and we're going to put some smooth stone, some cobble, uh, some certus quartz, and some cobblestone. And there is our quartz grindstone. So we can make a wooden handle by putting sticks like you see there, an upside-down L, kind of. So what's the grindstone all about? Let me show you. We'll put the grindstone right here next to our furnace. And I'm going to grab a piece of iron ore. You guys remember the iron ore? When we melt it down, we get, for every iron we melt, we get one iron ingot. So if I were to take this iron and drop it into the furnace, it would cook it up, give us an iron ingot. So what if I take this iron and put it into the grindstone and then turn this handle for a little while? Yes, it does take a little while to turn the stupid handle. I know. So after a little while, that one iron ore turns into two iron dust. And if I cook up this two iron dust, I'm going to get two iron ingots, one per dust. So effectively, the grindstone lets you double your ore output. I can take two, I can take one iron ore and turn it into two iron ingots. Pretty darn cool. It does take a little while because you have to, um, well, because you have to like grind the whole, grind it all up. But I'll handle that though, and you know, it'll be worthwhile, in my opinion. So, I do have a little bit of stuff going on here. Um, we're well on our way to doing something cool. Be sure to join us next time when we continue doing things that are cool. Uh, Kyrie091, wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join us next time. Did I already say that? Did I say it? I think I did. Do it anyways. Whether I just do it. Bye. Bye. Sleep in my bed. This is me sleeping in my bed.